Ian, good contest out there today. Three points on the road for City. Just give us your initial summary of the game. I just thought it was a really tough game. I thought that thought our boys were absolutely outstanding. Um, from Michael in goal right the way through the team, I felt the performance was superb. Played some great football, scored an unbelievable goal, great team goal, and then we've had to go and defend for the last 20 minutes in numbers. And I relied on on really everybody in the team to put their head and clear their lines. And, and I felt the two centre halves, two full backs in the second half were outstanding. And, and Michael come up with two vital saves in the last sort of five, ten minutes. And we still got chances the other end. Uh, but it was a tough game. You know, they're, they're going to cause a lot of trouble to a lot of teams now going in. They brought three players in this week. The system that play is, is effective. Um, I'm surprised they've not won more games than what they've done. Um, but that was tough today. But I felt the 11 and, and the subs that was there as well was a was a, was an outstanding day for us today. And I'm so pleased for everybody. And Mitch, it looked like every single player on the team looked like they really wanted it out there today. Particularly uh, the moment you had closing down the keeper and winning back the possession, nearly slotted Sean in for a second goal. How how did it feel? out there today playing with a team did you feel as one oh uh, yeah I think as everyone always says we've got a great group of lads so we always feel as one and I think we've got in the mindset now where we know every game's going to be tough it might not be pretty but if we go out there work hard together everyone does their bit then we'll pick up points and that, that's how it's been the last last few games in the first half it was very up and down game uh, chances or half chances at both ends just give us a bit of an insight to what you said at half time because we came out and hit the ground running in the second half it was just really I felt the wide areas were areas we could affect them um, they they were playing a diamond in midfield in the, in the first half and I felt there was a, a lot of bodies in, in and around the, the midfield area and I just said to the boys at half time let's just get it down pass it a little bit more be a little bit more braver on the ball as well uh, and if we make mistakes we'll make mistakes and that's what we've got to we've got to sort of cut them out of our of our mindset that if we make a mistake it's something that's going to affect us get that out of our mindset and, and get the ball into wide areas and I felt we could really cause them problems and that's where we got the goal from but it was just about us being a little bit braver on the ball um, and, and that's what I felt we did second half in the end, they were playing four up front, and it was uh, it was a tough tough day for the back back five or six. But you know, defensively, I felt it was outstanding. You know, Bailey's ended up with five stitches in his mouth from a collision in the first half. So listen, I, I'm just just so pleased for the, for, the, for the club and everybody at the club because we've gone through a little bit of a sticky patch the last few weeks. But today, I see a, I see a side that, that that really wants to go and do something this season, and I was just so impressed with everybody. Uh, Mitch, you were playing a little bit further forward today, but when you were drifting out to that left hand side, having Cameron Green in behind you. You've seen him at training, you've played a game with him now, what do you think he'll be bringing to the side? Yeah, well, from training, we know what he's, we know what he's all about, he's got good quality on the ball and as a forward player, I know that when he gets it out there, there's going to be a good good delivery into the box um, and I think everyone's got to know him really well and one did really well with him, so yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with him more in the future. Good, Ian, job done today, we're off to Ebb Street on Tuesday, what's the game plan? <laughs> Um, the game plan is to enjoy tomorrow first and foremost, Andrew, because I think sometimes uh, you know we, we don't relax after a game, and I think Sunday is the day that we can we can look and start planning and preparing for Ebbsley. Um, Dean went and watched them on Tuesday night and uh, has put an unbelievable report together in terms of what we've got to do Tuesday night. And, and we know we're in for a massive game. Every game we play at the moment is a massive game and it's going to be tough on, on Tuesday. We've got to make sure that we get the information across to the players in the next sort of 24, 48 hours. So when we do turn up there on Tuesday night, everybody knows their jobs. Um, but we've got to go there and uh, do exactly what we've got done today is, is to make sure that we, we defend as a group attack as a group and, and hopefully we can go there and pick up three further points. Gents, thank you very much. Well done this afternoon. Yes. Cheers, thank Andrew. Cheers. Thank you.